We're somewhere we're not really sure we want to be for two days. <laughs> yes. He's happy, he's got his pizza, yes. espresso. I would say that this one hasn't got much here. We're Ben and Emily, and we usually live on our narrowboats travelling the UK waterways. Recently, we bought an old ambulance, kitted it out in three weeks, and hit the road for an Italian road trip. This week, we visit the ever popular villages of Cinque Terre. Well, we're just leaving the hot springs that you'll have seen in last week's episode. If you haven't seen it, definitely go check that out. We visited a really cool place called Bormazzo as well with some very creepy, weird and wonderful carvings into rock. But today we are heading to Bologna. It's a very wiggly, windy way to get back to the motorway. We've pretty much completely run out of food. We didn't really have anything for breakfast because we've run out of food. So we're just stopping at a little village in what seems the middle of nowhere, um, hoping that there's some sort of little shop um, where we can just get a bit of food until we get somewhere bigger. Right, what do you want then? I'll go in. What don't I want? <laughs> I want cereal, milk, bread that's not rock hard, deer, cheese. I suppose I should have some fruit, Good, right, some okay. vegetables, some bananas. Would you get some peanut butter, crisps, um, lots of snacks for the road? That was quite expensive in there. Whoa. I took 30 euros with me and I didn't really add it up and I just guessed. And it was 29 euros, 77 cents. Wow. I'm afraid I didn't get you any beer. It was really wow. expensive so I didn't really get many treats. Might need to go back in with some more money. Okay. Benny's been in for round two. I <laughs> wow! A, I got you a lemon drink. Wow. I got these. Oh. Oh my goodness me. Should we have them at the front? Yeah, they're going to last about two crisps. seconds. I did get crisps. Oh, did you? I wasn't sure, so. It's fine. I thought I'd get more. Oh my god! Chocolate croissants. Oh my god. I got you these weird beetroot croissants. Yeah, beetroot they're the ones croissant. that I wanted. Beetroot croissants. Thank you. The beer that we can't pronounce. It. Ichnusa. Ichnusa. You really like that's that. It Italian. is nice. I don't actually mind that. Yeah, it's really good. Malty. Right, round two looks more like a treat treat zone. 12 euros. That's better. We haven't had any food for like two days, really, have we? We've, well, well, we've we have, just been cooking just from tins. cans and stuff we've got left. That's nice. Yeah. It's very citrusy. Mm. Is it fizzy? Yeah, yeah it's really nice. What do you think? Do you wish you'd gone for the more expensive ones? Probably should have done. Sort of tastes like a pillow. As we trundled along, we chatted and decided to change our plan to visit Bologna and headed over to a coastal area called Cinque Terre instead. The bright, sunny, warm weather was inspiring us to get to the coast. We didn't get it quite right though and ended up in the wrong location, but we hadn't realised it yet. Also, the weather was about to change. Here we've got a card. Right, we're in. That was stressful, wasn't it? The roads here yeah. are a bit mental. Yeah, the road markings have rubbed off in a lot of places. Makes it confusing. It's not quite what we expected. I'm sure it's because we're not actually in the place, but it's very industrial and quite bleak. Where is my seaside paradise? Right, we've got to figure out how to use this thing, don't I we? I blame this seagull captain who owns this car park. <laughs> I don't understand the instructions on it. It just says you've got to go pay. Basically. What now? Yeah. Oh, 20 okay. minutes. We're here. But. But we're not sure it's where we want to be. And we're staying for two days and accidentally. I accidentally bought two days. Because oh. It's a flipping robot hole in the wall that you pay with. <laughs> I just pressed go and it's two days now. So. And I have to scan my passport. <laughs> But I've had half of this Ignusia, and that's helping. Um, Ignusia, when stressful times are bound, he's always by your side. So yeah, we're somewhere we're not really sure we want to be for two days. <laughs> I think it's going to be amazing. I think it's going to be a happy accident. And we're going to go down and we're going to find the bus Apparently there's a person who just sells the bus tickets here and we're going to go and get on the bus and we're going to see some amazing places. It's just very different to what we were expecting, but it's just because we're not 
we're like parked in the like industrial town bit rather than the nice pretty bit. It's gonna be fine, isn't it? Yeah, it's not what we expected. It's like a massive port town. It's very industrial. We're in like a cordoned off camper area. Which is really nice actually, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, there's a got showers. There's like a, there's nice um, amenities and, and stuff. I think what, having a closer look at the map, it looks like there's another peninsula bit with very small roads and not much space and that's where the really nice older little villagey town bits are. I think it's just it was just a bit saddening because we were thinking to go out for dinner because we haven't really done mm. that very much and we were going to do that tonight weren't we? Yeah maybe we had this like quite an ideal idea in our head of parking up walking down the seafront having picking, some picking a little restaurant pizza and fish yeah instead I've got to cook. We know what that means, don't we? Beans on toast. No, we're not having, we're not having beans on toast. I don't know what we are having, though. Probably gnocchi. I got some gnocchi earlier. Oh, a pro move. Yeah. I like courgette. It's my favourite vegetable. So I'm doing a courgette tomato pasta. This brand of pasta seems to be very nice. Mm. Sorry, we're not having a romantic meal in a little restaurant somewhere by the sea. We're in a noisy car park surrounded by mopeds having my cooking. <laughs> That's okay. I know, pretty good. I think we're pretty tired anyway. We're here for two days. So. Yeah, it's nice to just rest up, get, have some delicious food, home cooked. As much as I loved that trip to Venice, I mm. hope it's not as epic as that. No, it I'm, doesn't sound it. I'm not sure I can handle it that at the moment. It won't be. Oh, it's plating up time. For you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that looks great. A fresh day. Got quite an outfit fresh on. Adventure. Check out these socks. Poo socks. Get them with a Trellino toilet. What a winner. So, since yesterday evening, we've done quite a lot of research and we're actually absolutely nowhere near Cinque Terre, which is fine because there is trains that go there. Yeah, I kind of thought we were just there and <laughs> we could walk, but never mind. It's okay. It's going to be another adventurous day, I think. Hopefully, it's just some trains. I think it's going to be fun. The weather is a little bit questionable though. It's kind of very sunny and then some very dark clouds. Um, I think it's going to rain. Oh dear. Some black clouds out there, Benny. Oh. No. Yeah. I like these mayfly things coming in. Well, let's get rid of That's them. That's free. Four. I don't want them in here. Okay, I've got one. I don't like you them. Can go back out. Be free. Umbrella. Take your Chris. Some of your yeah, it's a healthy amount of crisps there, Benny. I'll take one of my cheap ones, my fluffy ones. <laughs> but we'll get stuff over there. We've got some oranges, we'll take them. This is nice. One orange. So we found where to buy the bus tickets, found the bus stop and jumped on a bus that we thought would take us all the way to the train station and then would take us to the five towns of Cinque Terre. Unfortunately that didn't happen. A chap on the bus told us the wrong information and we ended up thinking we were on the wrong bus. So we got on another bus but then realised that was the wrong bus and realised the original bus was the right bus. So we got some more buses and eventually found the train station. Okay we have our tickets. There was a lot of information. This was not, this was not the simple choice. Cinque Terre means five lands, so that's five villages for us to explore. We started with the village Vernazza. As we hopped off the train, we could already see the beautiful coloured buildings, but it was busy with visitors even on such a grey day. Chicken waistcoat on, we walked down into the village, and first on the agenda was to find some food. We found a place that had an amazing selection of focaccia, pizza, and sweet treats. Yes. He's happy, he's got his pizza, yes. espresso, 
and a canola. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow, that is a face of yeah. enjoyment of Italian coffee. Pesto. Pesto pizza. So what is it like paste like puff pastry filled with a lot of chocolate? Yeah. Indulgent. And I got this guy. I think it's called a middle It's a loud fast train. Middle I don't know what it's called. But it's like layers of pastry stuff with chocolate in it. That looks great. Oh. Let me try it, let me try it. Oh my it. god. <laughs> um, is it good? That's the best thing ever. That's a winner. That's pure sugar. Oh wow. Oh god. Whoa. That is rich. Yeah, I feel a bit sick after one I feel bite. Like you could eat, you could spend it all day eating that. I might have to. It's actually like a giant version of the wafer thing. <laughs> First impressions, Benny? It's beautiful, undeniably. There's a lot of people. There's a lot of people who think the same. Definitely a lot of people who think the same. In the rain? Yeah. Imagine it in August. Look, this is so cool. You can see I, that's the next town over there. They're all like in their own little cove. But it, strangely, this actually reminds me of Ilfracombe in North Devon which is somewhere that I lived as a child for a little while and my auntie still lives there. Yeah, it's quite similar, it's like a little fishing town, which is what Ilfracombe is. A bit touristy like Ilfracombe. And I think it's just the, the cliffs with like the, the concrete-y um, bits sticking out there and the high buildings. Obviously it's very different, but... And there's a little beach here too and you can smell the seaweed and there's like little caves like in Ilfracombe. So if you don't fancy driving thousands of miles to Cinque Terre, go to Ilfracombe. <laughs> we should go there. Is that a cave I could swim into? Whoa. Not sure about it today. Yeah, so. Oh no, I think we're going to get wet here. Oh. 
Because there's a lot of stairs. We're in. Well, that was quite a hike up those stairs, but really nice for the yeah. view. When you visit somewhere like this, it's easy to think that maybe, does anybody live here at all? Because it's so touristy and it's all kind of set out for tourists. But looking at these gardens and a lot of the houses with the little windows open and people peeking out of them and doing the washing, it's clear that this is a functioning village in the rocks. It isn't just a historical place, it is a town in its presence right now. It's lovely to see that. Someone has brought an enormous lemon to dinner, it seems. Yes. But we know it's not a lemon. It's the other thing that looks like one, but is not. Hello. Do you live here? I say. Even though it's clearly not a super sunny day, and it has been raining. It's actually incredibly beautiful here still. It's, it's outstanding. The views are just, oh, it's, it's pretty magical. No really, cars. really cool. Ah, there's no cars. There's only those Piaggio weird little trike things, which are pretty cool. Shall we go up this tower then, Benny? We will. Let's see how my vertigo goes, shall we? Top of the tower, how lovely. <laughs> it's a great view, it's a great view. It's really small, isn't it? Gives you a good idea of how small it actually yeah. is. Yeah, they're just little villages, aren't they? Really cute. Yeah, there's the main, there's the main street that we walked down. So we're going to head to the train stop now and go to the next little town along. We're all here. <laughs> Currently we're waiting for a train to take us to Monte Rosso. That is the last town of the five on the train line. And then when we've been here, we're going to go back the other way and do the other three towns before we go back to La Spezza to go back to the van. That's the plan anyway. We'll just have to see how we do for time. What's on the menu today? Fried sea. raining now. I would say that this one hasn't got much here. It's mainly a beach isn't it? I think yeah. in the summer it's like the place to come if you want the beach vibes. It's resorts, a yeah, beach resort. Yeah, I don't yeah, feel just... like we're gonna stay here for very long, no, we'll probably not... go to one of the others. It's so busy here, I cannot believe it. It's a lot more touristy than I think both of us were expecting. It's the most touristy place we've been. Yeah. By far. Well, wow. I mean, with tourists. I mean, there was Venice. Venice. <laughs> there was Venice, but I mean, you expect it. <laughs> we are arriving in Cornelia. That's a lot of work. Wow. Pretty much the top. Benny, do not be impressed. I 
I'll keep my opinions to myself on that. <laughs> Whatever's up here is well worth those 5,000 steps we just walked. <laughs> This place is lovely. Lots of little winding streets again. Nice little bars and cafes and restaurants. Right on top of the hill. It is, it has a bit of a relentless beauty. <laughs> As do many of these. It's a bit too much. <laughs> it's a bit too much to take it all in really. You know a place is very beautiful when it looks beautiful, even when it's really gray and you're in a cloud. See what it's like in the sunshine. The next town. Let's go. Town number four, Manarola. This town's a bit different because there's like loads of boats in the streets, even though it's kind of like quite tight street. <laughs> I think we might be having a bit of a sugar crash. We are flagging. Super tired. Are we just gonna have a quick look around and then go to the last one? Quite possibly. We, we need to find some food, but all the restaurants here are very fish based and quite expensive. This is good. This is gonna help. More pizza. Pizza, I'm going to have a beer. I think that's going to give me a boost. I think we've ordered, accidentally ordered three lots of focaccia. Did we order loads of focaccia? Yeah, we ordered loads. That's <laughs> alright, because I thought one, one of these would have been enough. Yeah, that's The feel of the dough of this one straight away feels fantastic. So Benny's got anchovies, tomato, onion and olives. Mine's called Cinque Terra, and it's olives, onion and tomato. It's very good bread, isn't it? Strawberry waterproof jacket on. We made it to the fifth and final village, Rio Maggiore. By this point, we were so tired. We decided that one afternoon to see all five towns was a bad idea. Each village definitely has its clear differences and lovely little quirks, but maybe we felt it was a bit too much for one day, and all the villages started to blur into one. Um. What's going on? Flaunting my fashion. This is taking socks and sandals to the next level though, Benny. Yeah, turd socks. I'm not sure about turd socks and sandals. It is a glorious day. Unfortunately, we have to leave. It's a shame it wasn't like this yesterday for Cinque Terre, but what can you do? So we're just gonna go over to the water point, fill up with water, sort the van out a little bit and then we're gonna hit the road. We left the campsite feeling happy to be in the sunshine, but knowing that this was our last stop in Italy. We had the ferry to catch back to the UK in four days time, so headed north past Turin and back into the mountains. We decided to take the Mont Blanc tunnel back into France. It was a beautiful night and the moon was rising behind the mountains. Next week, we start our journey back to the UK. We travel up through France and stop off at a pretty city called Troyes before jumping on the ferry and heading back to Oxfordshire to the boats. 
Unfortunately, it is not the best start back to boat life. Join us next week to find out our not-so-good news. Yeah.